Good evening. How may I help you? Something happened when we went home, and I'm a little upset about it. Ah, uh, don't worry, it's fine. No. Sorry, I'm wasting time. No, 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 you're not wasting time. What's happened? Oh, I was so drunk. I was so drunk, so you're not going to believe me, so it's fine. Uh, I was on my way downtown, and a police officer was there, and she said to me, I'm going to arrest you for being drunk and disorderly. And a police officer in a silver car says, don't worry, I'll take her home. I'll sort her out. It was awful. I lost my shoe. We had sex on the toll road. So you had sex with a police officer? Yeah. Is it okay or not? It was okay. Like, what has happened? Is that all right or not? I just feel like he took advantage of me. I feel upset and I feel disgusted about it. I can't get over it. I thought I could get over it and I thought I was fine, but I can't. Twelve days after the complaint is made, Sergeant Lee Cocking is arrested and brought in for interview. Can you tell me your knowledge of the circumstances? Driving down the seafront. I said, where do you want me to drop you? And she said, it's just down the end by the pier. And then she just said, pull over, pull over, pull over here. I said, all right, and, you know, calm down. And then as I pulled over, she led over to start trying to kiss me. And I said, no, I can't. I said, work me. I was trying to be polite. I persuaded her to just let me drive her home. She directs me to her home address. And I can hear her shuffling about. And I look around, and she's now pulled her pants and, and knickers down. And she's politely and quietly said, I want you to fuck me. And I keep saying, I can't. I'm working. It's not right. I can't do it. And then she's saying, park down the road. So I pulled in there, and she's climbed on top of me, and I'm saying, please, don't do this. So she has wedged herself in the gap between me and the steering wheel, and she grabs the penis and forcibly pulls it out. I'm saying, please don't. She kept trying to play with the willy, trying to make me go hard. You know, she's managed to make it swell a little bit. You know, there were times it was inside, and she's kind of bounced up and down half a dozen times. Got annoyed because I haven't gone properly hard. I'm sure if I really, really tried, I could have forced them off me, but I was shot. Sergeant Cocking, the officer in the sex on duty case, claims that trauma he experienced at work meant he could not stop the sexual encounter in the police car. In 2002, I attended an incident on the N32, which was very traumatic. Memories of this incident haunted me afterwards, and I continued to have flashbacks for a number of years. I was diagnosed as having PTSD. He's saying she was the aggressor, that he was the victim of a serious sexual assault. So he's saying it wasn't that physically he couldn't push her off and stop her doing what she was doing. Emotionally, mentally, he, mentally. he couldn't cope with it. That, that account in itself is just unbe unbelievable. The fact that he hasn't reported what happened to him and this hasn't come to light until this allegation has come up is concerning. My PTSD has been caused by the incidents I attended in work. Actually being at home for, you know, months on end with nothing but traumatic memories and thoughts, th th there's no relief. You know, it actually made me worse. I've gone through some difficult times. I I've had incidents where I've walked into an underpass before um, and somebody walking the other way has doused themselves in petrol and set lights to themselves. You know, you're not prepared for things like that. When I finished therapy in 2015, when I was first diagnosed with PTSD, I was told by the therapist that I should consider other jobs and that I shouldn't go back to the police. But for me, I wanted to be normal, and normality was doing what I did before I had a breakdown. Lee Cocking is awaiting trial, charged with misconduct in a public office. It's easy to look at me as, you know, I'm a male, therefore I'm physically stronger. But mentally I wasn't. This person was able to take advantage of that.
Despite an acquittal at criminal trial, Avon and Somerset are still pursuing their case against Lee Cocking. They plan to bring it before an independent panel who will decide if he'll be sacked for gross misconduct. I'm not sure we're in a position not to carry on with proceedings because the allegation that a police officer has had sex with a vulnerable female, I think it's only right and proper that that evidence is tested in a process. And if we were then just to say, OK, well, we didn't, we didn't get over the line in the criminal process, so we'll draw a line under it and that'll be the end of it, I think we probably would have faced some criticism.